Right, hello and welcome to this video tutorial for the DT Register MailChimp subscriber plugin. This plugin enables you to have users that register for events through DT Register automatically be added to your MailChimp uh, newsletter subscription. So first we are going to, uh, you can see here, first I, I am logged in on a Joomla 1.7 site. Uh, this plugin is available for 1.7 and 1.5 and uh, you must have DT register 2.7.11 or later uh, to use this plugin. Okay here and to find the file file's going to be wherever you loaded it. There is a readme MailChimp file in the package uh, that has some further instructions so make sure you read that and in that package there's a 1.5 and a 1.7 version of the plugin. Uh, if you're using Joomla 1.6 uh, also use the 1.7 version of the plugin and that'll work fine. Alright there we go installing was successful now we need to go to the plugin manager All right, you can see here DT Register MailChimp subscriber. Uh, by default, it is not enabled. We need to enable it. We can just click that red icon and make it green. I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and enable it. And then you can see over here uh, you have some parameters that you need to fill in for your MailChimp account. You have your MailChimp API key. Uh, which uh, you can get from your account. Uh, we're not going to go into all that right here. Um, then subscription type, you can set it as forced or optional. If it's forced, when somebody registers for their event, um, they will automatically be added to the newsletter. If it's set as optional, then um, there will be an additional prompt at the bottom of the registration form uh, for the user to check to say if they want to be in the list or not. Alright, and then you have here, select the list to subscribe registrants to. Um, you're not going to see lists unless you put in your API key. I have one here already. Um, that uh, from the MailChimp account. At this point, you need to click Save. Uh, in 1.5, it would be Apply. But you need to do that to get your mail... Uh, your API key applied uh, so then this list will be populated so if you don't see anything here it's because you don't have a key loaded or you don't have the correct key loaded so here you can see in my MailChimp account I have two subscriber lists I'm gonna pick DTH News now here's uh, what to do on the rest of this when you see when you hover over an item it does give you a tooltip with some instruction um, this is where it gets a little confusing thanks to MailChimp. Uh, let's go into the MailChimp account. I'm going to hit lists. And I have my this DTH news list which we're using. And then here you say groups. Go to view groups. So here you can see within this list you have, you need to have a group to subscribe to and so and then within a group you can have um, subgroups essentially but they everything's just called a group so it's a little confusing we know um, so here you can see here on this one the interested in which came by default with MailChimp uh, it says it has two groups okay so I hit view groups now that's expanded so what we are essentially doing is we're setting up this plugin to add subscribers into one of these groups or both if I want it. Um, so what we're going to do is you can see back in the plugin I have group title says enter the name of the group from the selected list so the name of the group is this one. So I'm just going to copy the group name exactly. Okay so I've copied that 
so it's you're not copying in the name of the list, which is DTH News in this example, you're copying the name of the group. All right, so I've got that in there. Now the subgroups to subscribe to. We call it a subgroup just to help clarify, but over here it's still just called a group. Um, and you can have as there could be as many groups here as what you've created. But here you can subscribe to one or more of these groups. So let's say I want to subscribe somebody to this existing customer list. Go back here and I will paste it in. But you can see here, as it says in the tooltip, to subscribe to multiple groups, make a comma separated list. Um, so, what was the other group name? Updated information. So I could do comma updated information. Don't put a space after the comma or before. Uh, but it'd be best to just copy and paste the names in here instead of typing to make sure it's exactly the same. So once you've done this, save and close. I see the plugin is where to go here. Scroll down too far. Plugin is now enabled and will now function. So when a user registers for an event, they're going to be added to that list. Um, there's nothing else that's going to be visibly different on the DT register side unless you set it to be an optional subscription where the user has to check the box. Um, but as people register for your events, you will start to see them as subscribers in your, in your group over here. So uh, that's how it works. If you need additional assistance, feel free to hit us up in a support ticket or in the forum, and uh, we will do what we can to help you out. Thanks a lot.